Welcome to the Obsessive Gardener. guys we're taking a look at the Taj Mahal pink minion today very gorgeous looking pinkish purplish pepper so uh, let's slice it open and see what it looks like on the inside here's the inside very white very gorgeous looking I love that um, contrast in color and that white background really makes that capsaicin oil pop out okay let's try it Hey, welcome back to the Obsessive Gardener. I know it's been a while since I've done a pot review. Uh, Joseph Williams, good friend of mine from the Pepper Lovers community, sent me a pink minion. And I'm actually growing a couple of pink minions behind me here. Um, but this is not from one of those plants. He sent me these, or he sent me this pod, uh, along with some other stuff. And... Um, very beautiful looking guy. It's probably hard to see with the lighting in here. And uh, it has a very, uh, oops, dang it, I dropped a piece. Very, um, very white on the inside. A lot of capsaicin oils, so you know it's going to be hot. I believe they are supposed to be around ghost pepper heat, maybe a little hotter. I'm not 100% uh, on that. Um, anyways, my tolerance is very low, so I'm just going to try a little bit. It smells really good, very chinity smell. Um, uh, yeah, so let's let's try this thing out. I'm going to cut this a small piece because my t I ate uh, a little piece of a habanero yesterday. Just kind of see where I was at. And it tore me up, dude. I took a nice bite out of it, but um, it tore me up pretty good. So I'm just going to try a little piece here and see. Um, I know. That's weak, right? Um, so let's just get a taste of this thing. It's actually pretty good. Um, heat's kind of building up right now. It's pretty good flavor. It's nothing like, um, I don't know if I'd say it's fruity, but it's just like, um, I don't know, it just tastes like a chinense, just like that straight chinense flavor to me. Um, when I think about like just straight up chinense flavors, I'm thinking of like weary wearies and things like that that I've had last season. Um, not too bad. I barely, you know, like you saw, I had a little tiny piece. Not the heat's not that bad. Um, I'm sure if I ate a little bit more, which I'll take another bite, I'll go up a little bit farther on this, on this um, pepper here. I mean, you can see the oils on it. Ooh, <clears throat> man, it has that super hot kind of chinensi kind of flavor. Um, <clears throat> ooh, yeah, I don't know, I don't know if I'd say it's a super hot, <clears throat> um, the way it burns is not, it's a burn that I can handle more than, than like a habanero, habanero to me, it burns the tongue really hard, and when something burns my tongue really bad, that's where my weakness is and it's hard for me to ooh, there's a hiccup it's hard for me to handle that kind of burned um <clears throat> so it's really hard for me to say it's got a more of a back of the tongue and throat burn <clears throat> i want to say like ghost pepper heat maybe a little less i don't know a one to ten i'll give it like a five on heat on heat on flavor um, 
it's a very clean flavor. It's not bitter. I wouldn't say it's, <coughs> excuse me, floral necessarily. Although some people might think it is. Um, I don't think it, whatever that flavor is, it's not bad. Um, it's very clean. It's very fresh flavor. Um, like I said, very chinensi, very um, kind of that super hot type flavor. <clears throat> I don't know if I'd categorize this as a super hot though. So far, if I ate farther up and ate more, it might be a different story. Uh, but it's very good. So I definitely recommend it. Um, there are a few seeds in here. And um, I'll give away uh, to one winner. Uh, it's not going to be a lot. I'll probably do like five seeds or something because I, I only see, honestly, on this pot, I see like five seeds. Uh, there's a couple more. Okay, six, seven, eight, maybe. Maybe there might be ten all together. Um, I'll give away a small um, amount of seeds, maybe five or six, to a winner. All you got to do is uh, be a subscriber to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment, and I will randomly pick a winner on my live stream. So thank you for watching The Obsessive Gardener. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.